so welcome to our first travel vlog on board uh, Queen Mary 2 on the way to Hamburg. I'm Ali and this is Mark hello and together we are Ali and Mark Travel Tales. So this uh, vlog is all about day one which is embarkation from Southampton. So we embarked um, yesterday at, um, at the ocean or Mayflower? Mayflower. Mayflower. Mayflower Terminal. Um, it was really, really slick. Uh, from um, coming out of the taxi, we were ambushed by the trolley men, as it was, and they managed to pack all our bags onto one trolley, which is amazing in itself. Uh, and they whisked them away, um, going through into the terminal, signposted everywhere um, to do your health declaration, um, through then to the reception part or to check in, and then through to um, security and the speed of it was was amazing really wasn't it it was really good yeah it's probably our quickest embarkation 10 15 minutes yeah. um one thing we'll say at this point that check in they don't give you a cruise card you get it at your cabin but what would be really useful is deck plans because queen mary 2 is confusing um so top tip print deck plans off before you go and have them ready because it will make things a little bit easier. Yeah, and, and security, going for security, it's a bit same as airport security. Uh, if you've got any metal in your belts, you've got to take them off. If you've got smartwatch, you've got to take the watches off. Um, so it is really, you make sure you're dressing appropriately for, for going through there. Uh, you were going to take shoes off, didn't you? Yeah. Or your boots yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so you take the boots off. Boots off. Yeah, boots off uh, as well. And uh, as I said, you know, the speed was amazing. Quickest we've ever, ever, gone from arriving to getting on board on board the ship which was really really good really good can't fuck you in that and in fact our designated um embarkation time was quarter past three yeah. um we actually arrived at the port just gone two so a little bit early um but actually it didn't matter straight through which was really good actually because it meant we got on the ship a little bit earlier and got to the pub a bit earlier yes Yes, yeah. for fish and chips. Yeah. Uh, so obviously we got onto the ship, um, got directed to go to one of the lifts to come to our cabin, uh, which took us a little bit around where we didn't quite know where we was going, hence why we suggested um, deck plans. Uh, came to our cabin and one of our bags was already here, which is quite amazing for us because we do have a tendency to lose bags. Well, well I do. Mark's bags notoriously are sat at reception once the ship has set sail so yeah. for something to be in the cabin before we'd even got to the cabin was pretty yeah pretty amazing so one of the bags was here and um, we had a quick look around the cabin um which is an obstructive view which will if, if you check on our videos um you'll see we'll do a, a cabin tour a quick cabin tour of, the, of this of this cabin um, and then we decided to go to the the golden lion because we've been recommended by lots of people to go there for fish and chips because it's friday yeah. So we did. Yeah. Uh, usual glass of prosecco on board. Uh, outstanding fish and chips. When we got there, it was about three o'clock, and we've got early sitting dining, which is get there between six and quarter past six. We don't really want anything too large. Portion size spot on in in the pub, the Golden Lion at that time. Yeah, yeah. It was a little bit busy, but we managed to find we find a spot, mm -hmm. didn't we? Uh, really quick service, um, came along, sorted us out, got our fish and chips, and we was, we was very happy at this stage. Mm. Um, from there, uh, Ali's parents were on this um, trip with us, and they came and joined us. Uh, they they gained drinks, were very quick. Um, one thing we'll say, because um, it's a short uh, trip, there's no drinks package on here, so you are buying your drinks, and please remember there's a surcharge on top of them drink prices as well so it is a little bit more expensive than than what it adver advertises in the, in the in the book sort of thing um so we bought our drinks um had our fish and chips and we decided to come back to the room to hopefully find went to the spa oh went to the spa so yeah went to the spa because we always go to the spa <laughs> yeah kind of tradition well let's go and see how much a uh, spa package is um get there early as soon like we did um yep yeah. And we've booked ourselves a couple of hours slot for Monday. 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 So really looking forward Monday. to that. Um, and then 
muster drill, which is really good. Watch a video in your cabin and then go to your muster point, which for us in the is buffet. the buffet, which the is buffet. just down from the spa. So it all really worked out. Tick that off. So the then... ship's going to go down, we'll, we'll, at least we'll get fed. Yes. We'll get fed that before was, it's That was a valid point we made to the staff, yeah. um, that that would be optimum. However, with the fact that we've got two lifeboats just the other side of that window, I'm not sure we can climb the ladder and stow away. Yes, very, very much so. Uh, so from there, we came back to the room. Um, obviously, we just uh, mentioned about notoriously, we lose our bags and there was no bags in the corridor whatsoever. So the, the heart rate starts going up a little bit, thinking our bags have gone, open the door and all our bags are on the bed. So it's the first time in a long time on a cruise, all our bags have arrived at the same time, roughly. So yeah, with the cat not coming, it was really good. To see yeah. the bags there on the bed and they brought them in, it was really, really good. So yeah, top, top notes for our, our, steward, our steward to do that for us. So then, yeah, unpacked and then get ready for first sitting, dining in the Britannia. Britannia, Britannia restaurant. Uh, main amazing. dining room. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, one thing from around dress code here, it says on the um, daily planner, smart attire. Now, that means many different things to many different people, but basically, if you're a gent, it's something with a... Do you want a collar or a jacket on? Uh, trousers and shoes. Uh, basically, if you want to go into the into the restaurant, however, I think if you want to go to the buffet or the uh, the uh, pub, I think you can go to, yeah. you don't have to get um, dressed up. Oh, to say dressed up, smart attire, you can probably get away with jeans. Basically, you get given one of these. I was a bit creased because it was in my pocket all night, um, and it tells you. And then inside, there is actually um, a little guide on what to wear. Um, but also, if any doubt, check before you sail because different cruise lines have different guidelines. But yeah, I think I went with the sort of the minimum I went with last night. So I had a polo shirt on, slacks, uh, and some shoes, uh, and nobody um, said anything to me as we went into the restaurant. However, there was other people with ties, jackets. There were some people in dinner jackets last night. Um, the staff or the junior officers, they were all dressed up as well. So I don't know if they had a special do on uh, last night as well. Uh, most of the staff, you can tell because I've got the badges on, uh, but they're all very smartly dressed. Uh, so it's a different, there's a different scale. So it's down here, up here, and there's everything in between on a smart occasion. Yeah, but but, it, was, it was nice. And um, we're sat on the upper tier, um, opposite, not next to a window but slightly back from a window but you can still see out of it and it's beautiful it's really nice and the food outstanding yeah very 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 nice um back to cruise food uh q and i'd obviously always try to be on that pedestal somewhere high and it didn't, didn't, didn't disappoint at all it was very 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 nice food uh, i think starters we both had the same and i think that was prawn and a crab mousse with some salad which was okay um, I had the steak, Diane, after that you had? Pork. Pork, pork loin with different wild potatoes. Um, yeah, really nice. And then uh, wasn't going to go with a dessert, but I'm on a cruise, so I've got the breaking strain of a soggy Kit Kat, and it was cheesecake for me. And I had food envy at this point, because I went for the panna cotta, marzipan panna cotta, I both thought the marzipan might overpower the panna cotta, but it was a strip of marzipan and the panna cotta stuck on top, which was about not much bigger than a 10 pence piece. Um, but what was, what you had to But it was very, very nice. And to be fair, Ali did share her cheesecake because I was like crying in a corner. Yeah, um, small Very, that. very jealous of her, of her pudding. Yeah. However, I had cheese and biscuits afterwards. So I got my own bag and had some of the cheese and biscuits. So. Cheese and biscuits, as you'll see from the um, pictures we're just showing you, um, cheese and biscuits, wonderful. Get proper cheese and biscuits. They come out, picky cheap biscuits and a nice plate with plenty of different cheeses and grapes and... Um, celery. Celery, yeah. You didn't need that bit. I didn't need that bit, no. Or the pickle, don't like pickle. No, I don't like pickle. Um, yeah, so they're, they're, they're absolutely fantastic. Um, Service was spot on, um, and we there's four of us on the table, and we were all done and dusted by just gone half past seven, which meant that we could make the eight o'clock show. Which we'll talk about now, which was in the main 
Uh, show area, what's the, what's the show area called? The theatre. Theatre. The Royal Theatre. Royal, Royal Theatre? Is it Royal Theatre? Palladium? Palladium? No, I think you're being a bit posh. Okay. Now. So anyway, it was um, Revolvers was the band which was on. Uh, 60s band, obviously way before my time. Okay. And even more before my time, <laughs> just to point out. Uh, but fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, everybody was clapping. There was a little bit of dancing going on, which is unusual, uh, considering the times we've just had. Uh, and they were really good, weren't they? Really good band. Yeah, every song I didn't have a clue. Um, That's not true. You were singing. Uh, well, you were totally humming, singing humming, in humming. here. Um, <laughs> one thing to say that they do make an announcement out that masks are recommended, yeah. but are not mandatory. So, but the seats are so quite wide and spacious, and though it wasn't packed, so no, and it's you're on not two layers. Sat on top of people, but it's absolutely on board on this cruise it's individual preference as to the etiquette on the way you want to wear your masks so some people have got them all the time some people are in enclosed areas and some not at all so it's it, it's not enforced it, it's just purely down to personal preference and it's slightly warm in there as well isn't it? okay that could be yeah. a lot of people in there though it was yeah, slightly yeah. warm in there but yeah band were phenomenal um yeah, very I don't good. think there was anyone that wasn't. <laughs> no, they were very good. Yeah, so. yeah, it's good to, good to see. And, and the, the band actually thanked uh, the crowd and all the rest of it to see obviously back to live music again after the COVID and all that sort of thing. They're pl pleased to be out there again and uh, playing their trade, which were very, were very good. Uh, so from there, we moved on, didn't we? We um, scooted around the shops, um, just because we're going to save that. Uh, then went to the Queen's Room um, for a bit of a ballroom blitz. Um, which was interesting and fantastic room, absolutely fantastic. Again, other vloggers have mentioned it before and it was you know, really nice, cool as well. Yeah, obviously yeah. they'd switched on the air con in there. The back end of the ship seems a lot cooler than the front end. Don't know if that's just us yeah. and, and or, but that's how it seemed. But the, we were, yeah, like Mark said, when I saw the Boring Blitz, um, two live singers to accompany yeah, two, yeah, the orchestra, the band, the orchestra yeah. they were fantastic the way she sang madonna's material girl, yeah, material girl yeah. were, uh, and then the she crowd was a bit like madonna. no no okay. control yourself yeah um and then the passengers some of them got up to dance some and and there was no kind of pressure there was no it didn't matter if you got the step wrong or or whatever people just did it but there were some fantastic dancers yeah, the level of dancing i think there was people down here and people way above here uh but nobody really cared no. it was good to watch i mean we never do anything like that but um... well as number one strictly <laughs> friend here he has no. promised me so we will see if we can find a dance class yes uh, but it was very good and say so the service was fantastic in there as soon as we sat down a couple of minutes somebody was across uh, to ask us for our drinks, uh, didn't really pester us either. We had not decided what we wanted, so she went away and came back um, to see what we wanted to drink. And uh, the drinks came really quick as well, didn't they? Mm. They had to get the drinks though from G32. Yeah, I think yes. this is a busiest cruise. She's got, um, come back from the transatlantic, doing Hamburg and back, and then going back again. And the guy did say, look, we got. Um, restocked in Southampton but we haven't had a chance to do all the bars some bars have got drinks some haven't but it doesn't matter because they will just go to a bar that's got the drink that you want and go and get it for you so um, I expect things to be a bit different tonight because they've had today while well, we've been at sea to sort of restock um, but it, it didn't really matter did it? No uh, and um, the G32 was right next door to the Queen's room anyway so it you know it just walked through and walked back through back through again and it, it was really quick yeah it was we, really good we did pop our head into G32 to have a look and had a jazz band on reggae oh reggae band reggae. Yeah, the reggae band was on uh, in there but again because of what you think the demographic should be on Cunard it was full yeah yeah it was full and early in the night when we was in the um the Palladium, uh, the main show in place, the uh, cruise director was up there and he'd make, made a joke about, you know, how many people are going to go to the nightclub, you know, there's not going to be that many and it'll be, it'll be shut by one o'clock. I doubt very much it shuts at one o'clock. It was full when we was in there. Uh, for, for have a look round, uh, because we'll probably go there tonight. Yeah. Yeah, for a bookie. So, 
our usual thing at the end of the night is to go and find a hot chocolate. Code word. Code word for buffet. Buffet. Code word. Um, Mine is genuinely for a hot chocolate. Uh, That's debatable. So yeah, we headed to deck seven for a quick snack at the buffet before bed. Before retiring. Mm -hmm. Before retiring for the evening. And when we went there, it was a uh, uh, sort of Mexican theme. Um, so they had burritos, uh, some chili, um, those like the hot foods and then some cold meats, sandwiches, salads, cake, cake, oh, cake. Um, and they did have hot chocolate. And they did have chocolate, in a packet though, not on tap, it was in a packet. So you had to go go to the hot water and press it down, which I then nearly flooded the ship because I didn't turn the hot water tap on. Yeah. But nobody told me how to do that. Apparently the press button to start should also say press button, button to, to stop. stop. Um, so five minutes I was there trying to stop this button much to the fun of the staff apparently oops oh, never mind yeah uh, so that was our our first day um on uh, qm2 uh, absolutely fantastic today has been a bit of a hoot as well uh, but we'll talk about that one in in our next uh, vlog and um, so thank you very much for um watching uh, please if you can subscribe or like subscribe uh, give us the old thumbs up if you like comment Comments, yeah, any comments, good, bad. Do what do you say while we're here? Um, we have got limited internet. Uh, so for tomorrow we're in Hamburg, so hopefully we'll have some internet so we can um, we can have a look and see what people, we might post this and, um, and see what See if we say. get positive feedback and that yeah. might determine whether we do a second. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much and see you again.